Okay, this is uh, Laurie here with the um, dem demo sand sound sampling board. Little micro tsunami over here. It's a C class, only a light steamer. So these are only going to be light steam sounds, but uh, we'll still be able to work out a few things in sound differences. This is the new one I've made. It's a lead speak um, enclosure. Uh, filled it up with bare metal, which is that low melting point. Um, mounted the speaker upside down. It doesn't really matter which way you put a speaker in the enclosure on these high bases. It's still going to sound nearly exactly the same. We can have a listen to that. This is down here is the 1.1, uh, uh, which is very common in all the HO uh, locomotives. I've got a uh, <coughs> 20 by 35 mil uh, oval speaker here, and. Uh, We'll give, uh, give that a listen to in a moment as well. Let's get some things rolling. Right, wooden speaker. 20, it's a 27 mil high base with wood. Without an enclosure. Now we'll go to twenty seven with the lead. Go back to the other twenty seven and then the, the other twenty seven with wood. So there's not a lot of difference. The wood and the lead seem to soften the sound. Alright, we'll go around the, the loop now. That's the oval speaker with the enclosure. Oval speaker without the enclosure. Pretty lousy. Now Jeff Smith's uh, ported. Another porting, cheap plastic, you can hear the zzz. There's the lead. That's got a nice, smooth, good, deep sound. Okay, I'll swap that one out. That's sitting on a, oops, excuse me, a bunch of foam. I'll just swap this one out quickly and we'll listen to the other lead enclosure here. So you can hear this. Okay, we'll put it onto that one. Yep, here we go. That's This is the 20 by 35 oval in a lead. Alright, we'll go back to the um, the factory what factory enclosure. You see the, treb the treble noise is taken out by the lead. And there's no enclosure. I mean, you, would, you wouldn't bother. You need an enclosure, in my opinion. Okay. One other thing that we'll do here is while we're, we're on these, most probably be best to use this, this big one. I've got the Coda Pro running up here and just so that you can see I'm doing the DDE filter initial frequency so have a listen take it up high right the change gone real light now I'll slide the bar right back to 5 
Right, the change, it should turn deep. Okay. There's so much to be, sounds to be found out. You've got your sound levels, your sound, your equaliser, your reverb, DDE, and working on these ones here, your exhaust and your high limit. I won't go into that now. But those top three, DDE filter initial frequency, DDE filter control gain, and DDE filter dampening, really you can sit back and tune a speaker with a tsunami absolutely sweetly. So I'll do that again. There it is, it's down low. I'll take it up high and we'll go treble on this speaker now. Haven't changed anything, just going to change the setting. There you go, there's your light steam. That's much better for this for a C-Class Loco here, but if you had a heavy locomotive, you can just bring your filter initial fre frequency down and you get that nice thump using a high bass speaker. There's a lot in this, but coming back down into the speakers here, the um, uh, I'll put that, I'll do the same on this lead speaker. So there it is at light. I'll turn the DDE initial frequency down low and it'll go heavy. Sim simple as the click of a mouse. <laughs> I don't enter CVs. You, you've got to get the Cater Pro, you guys who, who don't know much about this, and experiment with it. You can't blow anything up. It is just fabulous. Just get a cable from your computer, an old computer, and uh, put it into your uh, command station and it's going to be, you know, make a big difference. I'll move in closer. I don't know, it's not a real good camera, I'm sorry about this, but there's the, um, there's what I'm doing there. And I'll try and hold this steady, and we'll do it again, you can hear it. I'll slide this one up. Right, up you come. Put it down to the far end there. Right to change. And you can hear it just turn into a light. So you can go light or heavy. When you do your filter gain controls and your filter dampening as well, I adjust those very slightly and uh, to fine tune sound. Anyhow, I hope this is helpful to you. Yes, lead speakers work. They soften the sound much like this balsa wood speaker does here. So I think wood, uh, like balsa wood, that's uh, reasonably thick. That's about three thirty seconds of an inch thick, thicker than a sixteenth. And lead on the round speaker here, this um, twenty-seven mil high bass. That's quite good sound out of that. But putting it into one of these uh, diecast bodies of the locos that are coming out these days with diecast, you can fit one of these in the bo in the uh, boiler. You get, you get some magnificent sounds, in my opinion. Anyhow, that's it. Hope. Uh, that's been of help to you. Cheers.